Hey guys, I'm Dr. Manan Shah. I'm an ENT and allergist with Winley Health. Why do most doctors treat more than two allergens with sublingual immunotherapy? According to clinical data, most patients are what we call polysensitized. This means you have more than one or two allergies. And this makes sense if your immune system is overreactive. So why would I want to treat only your spring allergies but make you suffer in the summer and fall? That's like saying you can do LASIK but only on one eye, or like saying you can do braces but only straighten a few teeth. It just doesn't make sense. That's why across the United States, most practicing physicians will do what's called multi-allergen immunotherapy, meaning they'll treat all of your allergies at once. They'll treat your cat, your dog, your dust mite, and your pollen. In a recent article in the American Academy of Otolaryngology's Bulletin, they discuss that multi-antigen immunotherapy is the standard of care across the United States. That's why at our physical office and at Winley, we treat patients based on our years of actual experience. We don't cut costs to try to make you choose which allergens you want to treat, we focus on making you feel better year round. So where did this confusion that you can only treat two allergies at once even come from? In medicine, we take our experience from treating thousands of patients to help inform your treatment, but we also need to back it up with controlled studies. So in 2007, researchers did a study where they treated patients for both grass and tree allergens, and they found that treating both of them led to better symptom control for patients than just treating one. But because it's hard to find patients who are gonna finish a long clinical study, and because it's hard to find patients who have the same exact allergies for both a control and treatment group, they limited the study to only treating two allergies. But we got evidence that treating multiple allergens at once works because in 2014, the FDA approved a tablet that treats five allergens at once and it led to better symptom control for patients. Finally, in 2018, they just tested this outright. Some patients only got treated with one allergen, others got treated with two, and others got treated with multiple. And the thing is, they found that they all improved. And so there's no reason based on that study to only limit patients to one or two allergens. Obviously, you need to make sure the dose is appropriate, but what they found is that there was no loss of efficacy when you treated more than one or two allergens. That's why the American Academy of Otolaryngology and most practicing allergists are gonna treat you either with shots or drops from multiple allergens. Even when treating multiple allergens, it's important to ensure that your dosing is appropriate and that's why we use protocols that are backed by clinical evidence. So where does this two allergen confusion come from? I think that comes from the 2007 study, but the good news is there's been a lot more data since then. And it's really important when you're working with a physician to ensure they use both the clinical studies and years of clinical experience. That's why at Winley, we treat patients using our experience in our physical office, treating thousands of patients, and also we work with advisors from all around the country. We don't cut costs and make you choose which allergens you wanna treat, we just focus on making you feel better year-round.